Hello guys, in today's video I'll show you how you can uh, set up Azure search using the push method, that means from the code. So in order to do that, the first thing we need to uh, do is uh, install the Azure search uh, documents nuget package. Okay. So once you have that, next you need to uh, identify the, your uh, index repository structure, the column, uh, the data you want to push and the characters of uh, all the properties of each of the columns okay so uh, to make things simple here i have uh, uh, i'm uh, i have only four columns id name description and in the type uh, so based on the attributes provided from this nuget package you can set up uh, the properties of each column so each repository needs to have uh, an id or some column uh, that would be used as a key. So here I have uh, ID, which I'm going to map to uh, the IDs of, of the entities mm. I have in my database. Uh, so th there are two attributes provided. One is simple field and the other one searchable field. So I don't want uh, the search service to search through IDs because that doesn't make sense. So let's say it as a simple field and set as is key yes then but i want to search uh, within the name column and the description column so uh, that's why i've made both searchable fields and let's say if i want a sort of uh, sortable functionality on name column then you can set that uh, it's true okay uh, for entity type uh, which is integer so i have added this column because i'm going to use the same index repository to push data for multiple entities okay so this way uh, you'll be able to perform global search across all the, the entities you have uh, the data you have on multiple entities okay so that's why uh, i'm associating each entries to the entity uh, type okay i have uh, in my database and I want I don't want this to be searchable field rather than a simple field but I want to perform filters on this data for example if I want rather than performing a global search on the entire data set if I want to search or only in a specific entity then I can do so since I have this information here okay so once we have this information set up let's move to our index service so in the index service I have uh, already put the code to shorten this video so the first thing we need to do is to create a client to our uh, Azure search service so in Azure search all you need to do is create uh, a cognitive uh, Azure search service you don't need to create the index the index is going to be created from here okay so just create uh, free or can <laughs> also pay just uh, create an Azure search service so when you do so you will get uh, a URI to that service and also API key okay so once you have that uh, you can create a client in this way using search index client which is provided from the NuGet package and uh, you need definitely you definitely need a name uh, the index name that we are going to use when creating the index poster okay so the index is not yet created we just have the service so any free tier uh, you can have th only three index repositories per service okay yeah so let's see the setup code so the setup code is this one which is pretty simple by itself but it can be minimized to just this lines of codes okay so what this basically does is we are using the search index method and pass off the index name uh, the name of the index that we want to create then the using the field builder which is provided from the nuget package this one will run through uh, the module and use those attribute informations uh, information set up uh, and attributes to specify the characters of each of the columns okay which is served as the definition of the repository okay so once you have that uh, to create or to, uh, to update an existing index you will use this and pass in the definition 
okay but if you want more functionalities like if let's say if you want to use the autocomplete functionality then you need to set up a suggester okay so when you set up a suggester uh, you have to specify uh, the suggester name and pass in the columns that will be involved in this uh, suggestion process okay so in my case i have name and description added here so you can add uh, more searchable fields to the suggester as well the other uh, feature I want to use is the scoring profile so th what the scoring profile is basically let's say if the search term matches a value in name column and description column in two different columns to, so for which of the columns do you want to give more weight okay or higher priority so that's uh, what it simply does so here I have set up a scoring profile give it a name uh, then uh, I have added uh, the name column to have m higher weight than the others just name five okay this is just an arbitrary value which should be yeah then that's how you create the index repository from your code okay once you have that let's see the index it's pretty simple from here so to insert an index just map a uh, construct your data based on uh, the module we have once you do that uh, so the da data is pushed or uploaded to the repository in terms of batches so you have to create this uh, array so data pass upload array of mm, batches so pass that into index index documents uh, method okay so this is going to pass in all uh, this set of objects in this case just a single object okay yeah then you can also delete uh, an index entry from your repository and to do that you need to use a key so or which is in this case is id so in my entities or in uh, my database since the id is good i first converted that to string which is the one that I have in the index structure then still uh, we can delete IDs uh, we can delete entries by batch so that's why we have all of these IDs here and use the same function but here it's delete okay it's delete and here it's create make sure to use create rather than upload okay so that's a mistake I did uh, then so when you delete an index uh, Azure will return a success uh, code, a status code for each of the deleted documents. Okay, so if none of them are different from 200, then that means it has succeeded. Okay, so it's pretty simple create an index, delete an index, right? Then to perform a search, and this can also be simplified to this lines of course okay so the search ASIC function which has an overload method which takes the search term which uh, you will pass from the user so which could be a single word or multiple words or a phrase okay so pass that into the search uh, method then it will turn the results okay list of uh, those index results but in addition to if you do this you are going to perform simple search the simple search is or the simple query is what it does is it, it's it looks for exact matches okay it won't perform fuzzy match uh, if you want that so I have added more options here okay so the first thing I did here is if the entity type is provided if I want to search within specific entity then uh, I'm adding this to the query entity type equals uh, equal operator the value of the type that's it which is then uh, attached to the filter uh, property of the search options uh, I'm using the scoring profile uh, which I uh, set up earlier uh, pass in the page page size and make sure to have query type set to full 
in order to perform fuzzy search so by default it's set to simple I think yeah simple okay okay uh, one other thing I did is modify the query so that I can match more uh, tokens okay so here I have created a method that constructs the, the query so let's say if the query string or the search term is multiple words then I'm splitting that phrase into uh, words, array of words and for each word uh, I'm constructing this query okay so I have three expressions here one performs uh, exact match okay for a word for a word within the search term okay which could be a phrase so exact match which gets a higher priority than any of these expressions the second one uh, in the second one I have the fuzzy search so here one means the edit distance of uh, the fuzzy matching so by default it is two I'm using one and this one is just specifies a regular expression so that uh, a kind of uh, if the user matches a few of the characters before or uh, at the end then this will uh, find those terms okay so once this is then for each word like I said then after has having constructing this uh, expression for each of those the words then I'm joining them up using the end statement and we have the search term but finally in case there is a match on the whole phrase I'm adding that to the expression as well okay which has a higher priority than mm, any of uh, the expressions before okay then that's it okay so let's test this out in programs I have I've created an instance of the index service which first calls the setup index to set up the index repository then I have made uh, sample books and libraries and using this for each statement I'm adding uh, both the books and the libraries into the index okay so I'm mapping yeah, uh, for the book I'm mapping uh, the name field to the title of the book the description field to the author of the book because I want the users to search by to get matches if they put in the author's name as well okay for the library the name of library is mapped to the name and for the city uh, I don't know if I have shown you this so these are the models okay so I'm using this same uh, one index repository to put uh, data to hold the data for uh, all of the entities and for entity type uh, book and library okay so once this is inserted so to search to check on the search service then search this is a uh, my term test term here page size and page number page number starts from zero don't forget that then yeah iterating through the results so let me check this so it takes a while while it sets up the repository since it's the first time so here I'm getting yeah here my search term is book and I'm getting one record which is from the book entity which contains the word book in it, its uh, name field uh, but I have also another I have a library with book mm, word okay the word book so I should have gotten that but since this is the first time it's setting up so that entry could be lit that's why uh, let's check this let's hide this we don't want to insert and set up set it up again so just run the search let's run this again okay. 
now I have both entries for from the library entry recorded from the book <coughs> entry the book of secrets okay if I want to search only within a single entity I can do so yeah here it is from library So this is doing exact match, but let's change this up if someone wrote book like this. So we should be able to get a result back. Yeah, there it is book or it. Mm, yeah, from the library. Okay. So if I do insert this when I run it. it won't return any documents because for the fuzzy match the edit distance I have set is 1 okay so this is how it works so you can use uh, you can uh, increase the edit distance if you want so that's it for today if you like the video please like give it a like and subscribe thank you very much